Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another reading, beloveds. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are enjoying your season. This is Scorpio season, so you should really be in your element. Things should really, really be looking up right now. I am definitely feeling amazing on my side of the planet. Everything is really um, unfolding beautifully. I uh, received some good news this week, so I'm kind of like, I'm kind of flying right now. I'm floating <laughs> on cloud nine, beloveds. Um, but yeah, you know, so I guess that infectious energy has me feeling very um, giving. I want to do another reading. I felt inspired to uh, tap into that energy because I'm like, I know I can't be the only one feeling this. Um, you know, this sense of gratitude, you know, I have the attitude of gratitude right now I'm just very thankful you know I just feel very thankful I feel very humble I just feel this gratitude you know um, so I really wanted to tap into that and see you know the core you know see where the root of that is um, you know for, for, for the rest of the collective see what y'all got going on what's coming in what's going out with you beloveds uh, to anyone that may be new welcome to the soul tribe soul family I go by the name of Q I am an intuitive reader, I channel messages intuitively, I'm also an empath and I'm also clear audience. So the way things work on my side of the planet is I listen to music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, timestamp, maybe the numbers, they will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing in addition to what the music is also um, playing and it all just blends beautifully it happens in real time uh so it's very beautiful to see how spirit um delivers these messages for y'all so uh, i will that the messages tonight or today resonates for you um this reading will be the dark matter series i am not really in the mode of you know focusing so much on um you know the video i really just want to tap into the energy uh, and see what the cards have to say. You already know my steel oh <laughs> you know, my steez, I should say, you know, for those of you that are, you know, returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I can't start a reading without just extending that love to y'all, rotating that love to y'all, because I truly, truly appreciate and love you very, very much. Um, so thank you for the love because you kind of power me up. It's reciprocal, you know, we, we fuel one another. So thank you so much, beloveds. Um, but you already know when I do the readings, even if it's a dark matter series, I do feel compelled a lot of times to, you know, show and prove, uh, I like to show you what I'm saying, opposed to just assuming you believe me. Um, you know, I'm just one of those type of people just in real life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In real life, I could show you better than I could tell you, beloved. So that is the way that I do the reading, even with the dark matter series. But, um, we're going to go ahead and proceed. I'm not going to waste too much time talking um i do want to dive in delve into the reading dive in to the energy and so we shall proceed with the read but before we do you already know let's do some house cleaning uh shay I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun. To bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo. So it is currently uh, 1221 on the clock. And we have uh, Cleo Soul singing Go Baby. So 1221 on the clock, Cleo Soul, that's 222, that reduces to six. So six is the first die. Six is also a 
the lovers. So there could be this energy of you feeling very, very, um, very balanced. You know, I, I just get a sense of you feeling very balanced. You could be in alignment. You know, you're definitely being your authentic self. I do feel that there's some really strong, powerful partnerships, unions, connections, bonds that you are developing or creating with other like minds. I'm absolutely getting a sense of feeling just very, um, just feeling very complete, you know, the sense of wholeness, oneness, and balance. Um, with Go Baby, I feel like spirit is just kind of in the background, just rooting you on because, you know, you've endured a lot, you've persevered through a lot, but you've showed nothing but strength and nothing but resilience. I feel you also have a potential soulmate because the name of the artist is Cleo Soul. Some of you could be very intuitive or psychic yourselves. Um, you may definitely be bumping into a soulmate or a cosmic companion in the upcoming months, maybe within six days, six weeks, uh, six months. You know, um, Someone could have been born in the month of uh, June that you might be connecting with. Um, and it doesn't have to be an air sign. I'm getting more of the latter, you know, part of the month. So maybe it's a cancer because uh, cancers spark. Um, cancers are towards the end of that month of June. So you could potentially be bumping into another water sign. But I do feel something is kind of propelling forward, moving forward, especially with Go Baby. Um, I just feel like you are taking off. You're taking action like I'm just getting a, wrong, a, a strong um, sense of, you know, like you finally, you know, getting out of a, a period of, of stagnancy. So you're, you're being rooted on. I feel more importantly, like you're, you're, you're having this victory or this breakthrough because I can see the six of wands as well. And um, just be mindful because I, I just had a Freudian slip with the word wrong when I was saying strong. Um, and if you think of the Six of Wands card, there are a lot of people kind of like, you know, celebrating, uh, you know, this energy that's like on this horse coming into town. Um, but if you look closely, there's a couple of scragglers, a couple of haters, um, you know, hiding in plain sight. So I do feel like, you know, if, if people's energy doesn't feel right, if something feels off or something doesn't, you know, if something's wrong with a scenario or a situation or someone's energy, trust that and know that, um, you're not crazy. You know, what you're feeling is actually um, what it is. So don't make excuses uh, because when you think of the number six, that also is air energy, the Gemini energy. Um, and and they're known for, um, you know, kind of having this dualistic kind of personality. Uh, they're known for, you know, even people would say like Tupac, when you think of his name, it's very, very fitting, you know, because the people say there was like this, these Tupacs, there was the radical Tupac. And then there was this, you know, this, this, um, freedom fighter Tupac, you know, like, so it's like, and he was a Gemini. So it's like, you know, it's almost like a two faced type of energy and not in a negative way, but I'm speaking not for Tupac. It's not a negative thing, but for whomever energy I'm picking up on, I do feel there's a sense of like fugaziness. You know, someone is um, definitely like kind of smiling and beguiling. So it, it, it could be someone who's hating on your on your success, hating on the fact that you are moving forward, that your world is changing and transforming for the better hating that you are having these victories and these celebrations um we got naked eyes always something there to remind me um playing right now so someone is being reminded um perhaps this is that person watching you because what's sticking out mostly more than the title of the song is just this eye watching and it's just putting me in the mind of an evil eye um or someone just jealous you know someone jelly you know, a little jelly because you got things going on because you are, as I said, in your power and you're doing things, um, you know, the way that you see fit, you know. Uh, so just be mindful of that. Um, and I also am hearing, uh, you know, it's in the eyes. So you will be able to uh, discern um, if someone is being genuine, if someone is being honest or truthful by, you know, looking into someone's eyes. Um I do feel like, you know, there, there is uh, someone watching. So I do get a sense of that. So with that uh, 1221, like I said, that's the six. So definitely spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Um, and, and more importantly, use discernment, you know, uh, because, you know, your, 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 um, 
your inner wisdom will will definitely um, navigate you through you know some some uh, tough terrain if necessary so when you use your intuition which is like your spiritual compass um, that is something that came out in the form of reading and I'm gonna use the mess out of that spiritual compass beloved you know I even heard spiritual GPS you know so when you use that you will never be steered wrong you will never um, end up in a situation where you're singing the shoulda coulda woulda blues so um, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively um, we're going to see what the cards have to say, beloveds. Um, just give me one moment. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. Forgive, forgive, forgive a sister. But um, let's go ahead and tap right in. See what we have coming in, going out, going on with the numerology deck, beloveds. So we have the number seven, beloveds, on the bottom of the deck, number seven. And that says personal growth. So like I said, I definitely was feeling like, you know, your angels, your ancestors were you know, kind of congratulating you and re rooting you on for, um, you know, just the, the journey that you've been on, you know, for persevering and overcoming um, in certain circumstances. You've overcome through some really troublesome um, circumstances and not only have you overcome, but you've grown. Uh, when you grow, that means that you are learning, <laughs> you know, and if you're learning, that means you were very intentional with, you know, making the journey something that wasn't uh, one you will have to revisit, you know, so you, you've learned a lot, you've evolved and, um, spirit is acknowledging that, acknowledging that because now you're moving forward. I was getting a sense of moving forward. The seven is associated with the chariot. So I do feel like not only are you moving forward, asserting yourself, um, standing up for yourself, standing your ground, speaking your truth. Uh, but I also feel like, you know, there is, um, things are really opening up in terms of just perhaps your ideas um you know maybe you have newfound inspirations goals maybe there's just this new and um improved version of yourself because you've grown spiritually and emotionally mentally even you know so i i, I absolutely feel like you're um very in tune very tapped in I definitely am also feeling like right now, because it's your season, that you could be very psychically, um, you know, inclined. Like you could be very amplified psychically. You could be having some real dope dreams, lucid dreams, downloads, um, just interactions, period. Um, it, it's just like I'm, I'm getting a sense of contact. I'm hearing the word contact. So maybe there's someone trying to contact you because we did have naked eyes always uh, singing, always something there to remind me. So if this is someone from the past, because the lovers can, you know, speak to someone from a past life love or someone that you may already know and have, um, you know, some sort of uh, relationship, some sort of history together. Uh, someone could be having an, a, a, an epiphany, perhaps, um, about how they feel about you. And maybe there's you're receiving telepathic or intuitive messages from this person. Uh, maybe you're picking up on someone's energy that's coming in. Um, on the split, we have the number 66 healing, and then we have that personal growth card. So 66 reduces to 12. So there has been um, a very strong focus on healing thyself. And that was the reason why I was seeing the victories and the breakthrough, because, you know, you, you, you have to um, do the work, you know, in order to be acknowledged, in order to be celebrated or in order to be, um, you know, to be, you know, um, put in the spotlight, you know, spirit isn't just going to acknowledge you if you haven't done the work. And I just get a strong sense of you doing the work. And not only have you been doing your spiritual work or soul work or healing, but I feel whoever or whatever you're attracting to you, because whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you attracting someone that's made in your likeness. And um, with this six, that's what we opened up the reading with. So spirit is acknowledging you for healing. Um, spirit is acknowledging you for uh, not just healing, but learning to love yourself, learning to prioritize yourself and also taking, you know, that time to reflect, to do those internal self audits, to improve, to correct yourself to grow to get rid of parts of yourself that weren't serving your highest good um to cut people off that weren't you know very positive um 
influences or people who had ulterior motives like it took it takes strength to make those types of changes especially being a fixed sign it's very hard or it's very difficult to you know to really um to really implore those changes you know and you've done just that and when you made those necessary changes this is what really um brought on the the growth you know this is the this is really truly um why you've had this this growing pain you know this is what it re it required was for you to heal you know but in order for you to heal you had to take that pause, you know, you had to ponder, you had to meditate, get things straight. You had to be honest with yourself, more importantly, you know, you had to really intuitively um, scan past behaviors, scan your behavior. And um, in doing so, this has given you some very, uh, this is this is like that aha moment. I just get a strong sense of you having an aha moment. So that's powerful. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection, what messages? Do you have for my beloved Scorpio spirit from the numerology deck? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Happy solar return. Happy physical day. Happy born day. So we got a couple of messages that flipped over. We got 67 physical activity, 32 music. We have 13 effort. So you got two 13s because 67 breaks down to... Um, to 13 as well so again i feel you are mirroring someone's energy this music card also showed up in the form of reading so i definitely get a sense spirit is telling me look at this song and this is something something and this is by maxwell <coughs> excuse me so i do feel someone could be potentially coming towards you uh because that five you know that the music card is 32 reduces to five i do feel like something one someone wants to communicate something to you my throat is getting blocked as i'm speaking of someone communicating let me just get a sip of water <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so some someone has something that they want to say to you i definitely feel like perhaps this is someone from you know I'm just getting the past, you know, because with this four and this four, um, that reduces to eight, someone could be up in their head about something that may have transpired in the past. Maybe someone rejected another person, maybe someone abandoned another person. Maybe there was some sort of conflict. Maybe someone delivered a message in the most harsh, brash way ever. And now there is, you know, some sort of distance between you and another person. Give me one moment. So just as I'm speaking of someone wanting to communicate, my phone just rings randomly. So someone wants it has something that they want to get off their chest. This time around, I feel like they want to make the effort because in the past, I don't feel like they didn't. I feel like the lack of effort, the lack of intention, the lack of direction, you know, the lack of even knowing how to um, navigate a situation led to the demise because 13 deals with the death. And the death is your energy. So I do feel like something died in the connection. And, you know, everything, you know, that's, you know, whatever's not growing, it's dead. So if someone's not willing to put forth the effort, if someone's not willing to, you know, water, you know, the seed, then it, the seed can't grow. That's what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And so this could have someone in like mental conflict or someone could have some remorse or regrets because the, the, the 67, 13, that reduces to four. The 13 effort also reduces to four. So I'm just getting, you know, the four and the four is the eight. That's why someone is really desiring to communicate, especially with Maxwell. Someone's name could be Maxwell. Someone could be from Brooklyn. Someone can be from Puerto Rican descent or they could be mixed Puerto Rican and black because that's what Maxwell is. I believe he's Puerto Rican. If he's not Puerto Rican, he's definitely Dominican. But I know he's Hispanic and black, which is basically the same thing. But I digress. Whomever this is, is someone that's kind of like this is self-imposed mental anguish. And I feel it's because someone is finally having some sort of um, aha moment, you know, like that they... Um, didn't make the effort they couldn't they didn't do as much as they could have maybe they're clairaudient maybe this is someone that's a musician someone who's into entertainment or music 
But the eight and five also reduces to 13. So this is very interesting. All of these cards reduce to 13. And you have two 13s here. So eight and five, as you can see, 13, 67 is 13. And then that um, 13 is 13. So that's four and four. And then you got the four and four, which is eight, and then 32. So this is 13. So there was definitely something that transformed. I feel something is transforming. I feel this could be even the past energy. Like this is what led to your transformation. Thank you, spirit. I feel like that's what spirit is saying. This is what led to your transformation. And this is what also ultimately led to you evolving because this 32 five is not only just the throat chakra speaking to communication, but it's also dealing with the hierophant, which also speaks to your maturation. So you had to mature through some difficult circumstances. Life will always, you know, whip you right into shape. And I feel like that's what this was. This There was circumstances that um, were very painful, you know, could have been sudden loss, sudden, um, sudden loss, either in a relationship, a love ship, maybe you lost loved ones, you know, there could have been death in the family. Um, but I do feel like this is what kind of helped grow you. This is what helped you to, you know, expand and ascend ultimately. And have some sort of completion of a cycle we got the nine completion on the bottom of the deck these cards just literally show chose themselves so this is the overall energy is your transformation and i feel like i said like spirit is definitely really um in awe you know and i won't say in awe because you know spirit is the only one that knows uh what you're truly capable of that's why they put these tests before you to strengthen you to prepare you you know for your soul's mission for your life's mission for your your passions so this transformation has definitely graduated you to a degree some of you all are being positioned for um roles in leadership being healers shamans you know um being awakeners being warriors warrior spirits and that's what we need right now more than ever. It's like we need people that are being their authentic selves, living in their authenticity and not hiding behind these false, you know, facades. You know, it's like nobody right now should be going googly eyed over any type of um, external sources like entertainers, actors or it's like nobody like because these are people just like you, you know, they're just on platforms. They're on platforms that we all have access to now. So we all have even playing field, you know, and I just really feel like, you know, we got to like spark the minds of the next generation and not be so, um, so programmed to looking at other people to, to lead us or to, 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 um, entertain us right now. We need to be edutained, you know, if you're going to entertain, edutain while you're entertaining. Because the, the glorification um, of this, this strip culture, this, this whore culture that they're, they're doing with music, um, even in entertain like movies, you know, the, the, the agendas that they're pushing, um, everything is changing. People are no longer um, interested in the farce, you know. So it's like we need warriors, real warriors that stand on, on principle, that stand on something. You know, all these fake celebrities, I could care less about any of that. If I want to hear some good music, then yeah, I'll go and entertain somebody. But I could care less about what they're selling us. I could care less about what they're talking about. Because if they're not talking about real issues and really trying to teach you how to get out of the matrix or being, you know, that front runner, like a lot of people talk about yay and, and say how crazy he is. But I, he's the only one I see grabbing his balls and talking from his chest, whether you agree with him or not. It's like... He's absolutely, you know, agitating this system, you know, because it's got to change. Change is inevitable. So how can we still have a system that's been run for thousands of years and people not get frustrated with it? So it's like, yeah, there's a lot of, of hypocrisy that goes on in the industry that goes on in this world. You can't say certain things about certain groups of people, but everything bad could happen to another group. But that, that's hypocrisy, you know? 
it's even what's going on, you know, between the war with the Palestines and, and the Israelite, like the Israeli, it's like that, that, that to me is like, how can we empathize and sympathize with one group and not with the other? It's all wrong. If you want to talk about wrong, wrong is wrong. You can't say, well, well, these group of people, you know, are right because it's them, you know, like what, what makes you corner, you know, the, the, the sympathy, um, you know, how do you corner sympathy? How do you corner, you know, pain? That's not solely for you. Everyone feels that everyone feels that pain. Why can't we all just, you know, coexist together in unity without the warring? How about that part? But I digress. So it's just like with this energy, your transformation is, is, is literally being highlighted here, you know, and this is what's propelling you forward. That 13 reduces to four. That four deals with the heart shark, heart chakra. And so your heart is now definitely as a space where I feel you've been healing. We saw the healing card. So you are definitely in a space where you are more emotionally intelligent. You are more emotionally balanced, harmonized because you have a love for yourself. I always say you cannot love anyone, anything outside of you if you don't love you because you simply can't pour from an empty vessel. Just like my grandmama used to say, you cannot squeeze blood from a turnip. And so you have taken the necessary time to really grow, to really improve, to really ascend to, you know, your greatest, most inspirational version of yourself. I feel you're inspiring others. And of course, everyone's not going to be happy with your success and proud of your your growth there's going to be folks that's going to feel you know left behind and this is because you do have to leave the dead weight behind people have to like level up to you you can't carry anyone anymore you've done that enough so that's why this completion is here we have betty right tonight is the night so for some of you all you may hear from someone tonight Someone's name could be Betty. Someone is definitely coming in, I feel, to to square things um, with you. Like they want to really work things out. They want to make things right with you. They want to perhaps apologize, perhaps acknowledge they're wrong. I do feel this is that person that's now ready and prepared to, you know, put forth the effort because this could have potentially been someone that just... You know, kind of was, I'm hearing was a runner, you know? And maybe for a long time you, you chased and then you realized what you was doing. You know, anytime you run after something, the natural, you know, reaction is for that thing that you're running after is going to run. You know, sometimes I play with Katara and I'll just go charging at her and she'll start running, you know? And she'll come charging at me and I'll start running. So it's just like, I mean, that's a natural response. And I feel like, you know, someone kind of realized that in this equation, in this scenario, I'm going to stop chasing or I'm going to stop running and I'm going to go towards what I'm looking, you know, what I desire. Because that four is, you know, the acknowledgement of love, you know, heart chakra is really about, you know, someone's heart is opening up. The heart chakra is open. They're open to love. They're more receptive. The four is also someone could potentially be holding on to you, holding on to the memory of you. Because remember, we had naked eyes saying always something there to remind me. So something was definitely, you know, um, brought into someone's. Um, someone really, you know, understands now, um, I guess, the dynamic, you know, of this connection. They're looking back in, in hindsight, if you will. So let's tap in. So that was a lot. So let's tap in. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages you have? Another card just jumped out of my hand. We got 55 on the bottom of the deck. We got forgiveness. Someone desires your forgiveness. What did I say about someone really, you know, feeling remorseful? This is who or what you're attracting to you. And spirit is reminding you to show compassion. And this is also a, a six. So spirit is saying, use your intuition. This is also speaking to, you know, like I said, the lovers. This is like, you know, almost it could be like yin yang. This could be, you know, when you have that true um, energy of, you know, a past life love or a past love. I was picking up a soulmate. Then there is, you know, that period of runner chaser. Even when you think of the number four, that's the vibration of 1111, which is, you know, typically, you know, um, associated with that twin flame energy. 
So whomever this is, is someone that is um, looking to you perhaps, or you could be looking to this person that's coming in as a potential twin flame or soulmate, or perhaps even someone that, you know, you feel got away, or maybe this is their sentiment about you. But someone obviously did something in the past that they regret because I was picking up like someone being rejected, abandoned. There was a lot of, you know, um, hostility, smug attitude. And now someone is coming back. I feel humbled. I heard the word humbled. I see someone like kind of bowing to show that, you know, their humility even. This is very powerful. So someone has had a very, you know, powerful download. They've had some sort of epiphany because this, this forgiveness card is right next to this yellow effort card. And yellow is really, you know, the color of the sun. That's about illumination and clarity. So someone realizes, not to mention with that 96, 15, the six, they're using your, their intuition. It's like they're using their spiritual compass to come back towards you. We have 55 adventure. So this is going to take you on um, quite the ride. I feel someone has also been, you know, on some sort of ride. I think that this is the, the energy of just the, someone who's um, matching your energy in terms of growing, of, in terms of really learning from past mistakes, um, discovering what they truly desire. Uh, they took the time to really heal and nurture themselves as well. And perhaps they may have realized um, this connection is, is deeper. We have streets is watching. So I do feel, as I said earlier, that this person is watching you. This is Jay-Z. Someone absolutely can be from Brooklyn. Someone's name could be Jay. You know, I do feel someone thinks about you or dreams about you a lot. And this is someone um, I feel that's coming back intentionally. Because I see that this person is going to be very spontaneous. I definitely see this person is also very attracted to you. And they're going to communicate with you. I feel like they are, um, it's almost like they're excited to communicate with you. It's like, they're, they're, it's like, I just, you know, excited in a sense of like, it's, it's anxious. It's, it's like anxiety. It's like, I, I just get this excitedness. You know how you get those butterflies in your stomach, you know, just before, you know, you do something, um, you know, before you do something that's really uncomfortable, but it's, it's exciting at the same time. So it's like you get those, but that's what I'm picking up from this person. But because this is a double number, I feel again, like, like this person has worked very hard on growing up. I get a sense of like teaching and learning. Like you've taught this person because they've been watching you it says the streets is watching. And not only is this person watching, but you have a lot of people watching. You have a lot of eyes on you. And that's why I was saying, like, you know, I was picking up that six of wands in the beginning of the reading when we, um, started, I was seeing that in my mind's eye and I pointed out, you know, that, you know, you have a lot of people congratulating you and very proud of you, but at the same time and same token, there's a couple of scragglers, a couple of haters that are hating your success, hating your growth, you know, and whomever this is, is not a hater. I, I get a sense of this being someone who has been doing work. Um, and it's like, they want to bring excitement and joy, you know, into life. This is someone very passionate about you. This is someone that wants to extend an olive branch. This is someone that wants to perhaps, you know, spark something new. So let's tap in. So how does this person that I beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. You got another message that popped out every time I shuffle the cards. You actually have all of your messages here. So the first card, they feel you're their spirit their freaking um, wish fulfillment. <laughs> and there goes that 8513 yet again. So this is the person that's transformed. The transformation that has taken place in them is they had to get rid of some sort of ego or full sense of pride. They're realizing that you are absolutely the real deal. You know, like you're a diamond in the rough, that you're a star, a whole star, you know, and they may have taken you for granted or they may not have seen your light they see you now they feel your wish fulfillment this could be a masculine coming towards you someone absolutely loves you because there's pink in the symbol here so this is someone that's really coming in um and i do feel like they are the ones that have been holding on to you because we did have naked eyes singing always something there to remind me so it's like maybe you know because there hasn't been any communication because you've been working on yourself and they've been working on themselves there's been this separation but this person has always been holding on to you, carrying you in their spirit. Someone that loves you because this 13 breaks down to four. 85 is 13. You got a lot of 13s, a lot of deaths, transformations, but also 
death is, you know, it, it, it also is, you know, bringing forth the transformation or bringing forth that rebirth and that regeneration, the emergence of someone new. This is what they're now finally coming to realize is they love you and that you are a wish fulfillment. You're someone that they have manifested or have, you know, not even manifested, but someone that they've been trying to manifest back into their life. And they're coming towards you, as I said, very empathetic. We have domestic harmony on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like maybe someone was, you know, already in a, you know, a partnership or someone was already um, investing their time in another connection. And maybe that's why you didn't connect with this person in the way that maybe you hoped or that maybe they couldn't connect with you in the way that they hoped. But I feel like now with this 46, that there is this opportunity for a fresh start because every ending denotes a new beginning. And I envision that's what they want. You also have here for what's hidden is communication. Can't make this up. This person does communicate with you telepathically, but I also feel like when you finally do speak to this person, because they are coming, because this is what's hidden, when they do come to speak to you, I feel like it's going to bring um, a whole lot of clarity. Like you, you, this person does uh, also, they, they, they are mustering up the strength to come to, towards you. We have Duran Duran save a prayer. So they could be kind of like calling on their angels and their guides. That three does deal with the um, archangels, you know, and um, or the ascended masters, you know. So they could be, you know, kind of like consulting with their angels, their guides and asking for direction and how to communicate with you, you know, and their thoughts of you, their constant and persistent thoughts of you are something you could potentially be picking up on. Because you are so intuitive and you are so um, psychic Scorpios. This person is someone that does communicate intuitively or telepathically. Or um, maybe they're having very lucid dreams. But I feel what's hidden is, you know, you definitely um, should be expecting some, some news. And I feel like I'm not saying anything you don't know or feel or sense already. And Duran is from, I believe they're from the UK. So someone could be in the UK. And I'm getting with Ran, like this is someone that ran from the connection. You know, I'm getting from the word du Duran, um, that this is someone that, that same person I was picking up on that was runner running, because I was picking up like a runner chaser dynamic. This person, absolutely, I'm hearing they carry you in their spirit. Even though they may not have been any communication for perhaps maybe the past six years, three years, four years, eight years, nine years, five years, maybe even 13 years. This is someone that has continued to carry you, there, you in their spirit because in their eyes, you're the one that got away. So if someone was in a whole marriage or um, in another connection, they will always they they would still think of you, you know. They would still think of you. They still carried you in their spirit. I mean, <laughs> how much more plainer does it get? But let's tap in. So what is the um, outcome for Scorpios? Wow, you got a lot of messages that just plopped out of my hand, and I'm gonna take them. It's not that many. It's about four. So we have 44 environment. So this person is kind of rushing in, man. I feel like this is someone rushing in. You got the eight, um, you know, that 44 is eight. So, you know, and this is a solid green card. That's a double number. So this is someone that I feel has really worked on loving themselves. I feel that, you know, that was part of their growing pain. And that's what's mirroring your energy to theirs is because that's the same journey that you've just come from is the healing of thyself. And remember, you also had that 67 in that 13 for the overall energy, which shows that you both have been mirroring one another whenever you see that. So that means that you both have also been kind of, you know, learning the same life lessons um, and you're coming to the same epiphanies, perhaps about the other person or perhaps about what your desires are, your tr heart's truest desires. But I feel what's in your environment is love. I feel like 
you know, this is going to even feel like a wish fulfillment for you. I definitely feel like this is someone that will be very grounding to your energy. They may see you as being very grounding, nurturing, very loving. You're also someone that they could see themselves building and nurturing um, a family with, you know, cultivating a partnership, building an alliance, building a union, you know, a connection. This is someone that does love um, very deeply, someone that will be very, very um, atten intentional, but also attentive to your needs. This is a very supportive energy. This is a very powerful love ship that you are developing with someone. I feel this is beautiful because it just speaks to um, just the magnitude, you know, of how healthy a relationship can be when you, you know, are healed from your own traumas, you know, you can show up in a relationship and, and really, um, give to your, your, your partner because you have something to give. So this is very beautiful. I also feel like, you know, your work, your career is thriving, flourishing right now. You're getting some great news about opportunities. Business is booming. I feel like you're in a very good place financially. I just get blossoming abundance. I see prosperity. I see you having an infinite supply because that number four, four reduces to eight. And when you turn the eight sideways, it becomes the infinity symbol. So I feel like your hard works, your efforts, the seeds you've sown are being returned back to you. It's like, you know, the seeds you've sown in good faith, it's now creating or, 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 um, growing this harvest for you. you I see carnucopia. I see spirit answering your prayers, fulfilling your wishes. This is a beautiful energy. And we have um, the neurons. And this is called hurry up tomorrow. So I hear impatience, you know, someone is growing impatience, but the outcome, the cards that actually flew out, you have change number five. So something is absolutely changing and I'm hearing for the better. You have the number 11, individuality. You have the number 66, healing. And you have the number 81, leadership. And I did state that I felt y'all were being, you know, prepared for a leadership role. Like you're, you're the ones taking the reins and, and navigating or instructing that chariot in the way that you see fit. So you're being more... Um, more uh, willful and determined, ambitious. You're being motivated by your ambitions. And by being motivated by your ambitions, you're also inspiring others because they see how much of a go-getter you are. But I feel that, you know, this individuality, this is the number 11. So during this 1111 portal, many of you have learned to stand very perpendicular in your square. But I feel like this is also what has brought you into balance um, is that you've had to kind of break free from codependencies. Um, and in doing so, this is how you were able to empower yourself or take your power back. You were able to see what you were truly made of. But that number 11 also reduces to two. And that two is giving me a sense of the two of cups you needing to make or having to make or already having made the decision to, you know, leave circumstances that didn't feel very real or feel very genuine or, um, you know, leave people behind that were um, not reciprocating, you know, the love, the respect, the appreciation that you were also um, giving them. But I see you also coming into unions and partnerships with other like minds because you've learned, you know, that your independence is the foundation for your happiness. And I feel like this changed you for the better. This led to your personal growth that we saw earlier because this five and this two that I'm picking up on, you know, that's the personal growth that you've had. You're spiritually stronger than you've ever been. And that's why I feel like spirit is saying you're now prepared for this leadership role, whether you're helping others or awakening others is because every great healer has to first heal themselves. 
And I feel like whoever you're aligning with, as I said, is someone that's made in your likeness because they too are on their own spiritual journey and having their own spiritual awakening. So this is beautiful, beloved. So let's tap in. Let's get additional messages. We're going to get some messages from the wis um, which is wisdom, beloved. Pick up on that energy. I meant to get my Halloween deck, you know, because <clears throat> this is the season. So look what you have here. You are protected, beloved. You got the circle of protection, you know. Make sure that you, when you are, you know, utilizing your magic, when you're tapping, and <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, man. Give me one moment to get some water. Pardon me. So just, you know, be mindful that when you're tapping into your magic that you always create like a protective circle for yourself you know before you do anything you should always have like a white light lit uh, a white candle lit for your angels and your guides to light the path for you but also create <clears throat> someone's trying to block my throat because you know as soon as this card showed up the protection is like someone is trying to literally you know um you know they're trying to cut my wisdom so just be mindful of that because I feel like these are people that, you know, as we already pointed out, got a couple of haters, you know, that are definitely in the uh, backgrounds. So just be mindful of that. And we have um, Father MC, I'll do for you, Father MC. So your angels, you know, your father, your spiritual fathers, your your your. Even your own fathers, you know, they're doing something for you. But I feel this is more so saying like your angels are going to protect you. They're doing for you, um, you know, what's necessary required to protect you from any hidden enemies, any enemies. And we also have to consider, you know, I'm about to pull the cards for, I mean, pull the messages for, um, you know, the 67, which was physical activity, 32 music and 13 um, effort. So perhaps this is that person you know, from the past, if this is a masculine, even if it's a feminine energy, um, you know, this is someone that uh, is willing to come in, like I said, and be intentional and actually do for you. Because maybe this is someone that was just like a taker, you know, or they just didn't give anything. If they weren't a taker per se, they just didn't give, they didn't reciprocate. It wasn't that, you know, that, um, that equal give and take dynamic. On the split, we have protection and we have watchtower of the East. So as I said, you are being watched. There is someone that's definitely tuning in to your channel, tuning in to your social media accounts. Um, if this person knows where you live, maybe they drive by your home. But this is someone that's watching you from a distance. And I feel like with the spring, you know, it says spring. I feel like they're ready to spring into action. I definitely feel like, you know, they're ready and prepared um, to just kind of take action and to do for you. You know, they're ready and prepared to kind of finally... Um, you know, put forth the effort to show you that they mean business, that they're serious. I just saw the hex card. So there is, you know, that's why that protection card showed up. So I do feel like, you know, you do have some haters that are trying to hex you or block blessings or trying to do things to um, interfere with your, your life and your success. But I do get um, that your angels are protecting you. You may have had someone um, that was trying to, you know, do some voodoo juju hoodoo on you, or this could have been someone that had a hex on themselves. Oh my goodness. So the phone is ringing. So this is absolutely um, confirmation. You may feel, you may receive some news, you know, from someone that could be trying to steal your joy, you know? So just be mindful of that as well. Like someone could be trying to, um, you know, give you, you know how people love to call you with bad news. You don't hear from a mofo. You know what I'm saying? Unless somebody done died or unless somebody got some gossip they want to share. And it's just like, come on. Like, so it's just like that. That's just what I'm getting, you know? And when you sit there entertaining gossip about other people, I always tell people like whoever gossips to you, gossips about you, period. Because that's their life's mission is to just spread misinformation around and just be the negative Nancy's and Debbie Downers and lying ass Larry's like that's literally their whole soul mission. So it's like when you entertain with that type of energy or you entangle, I should say with that type of energy, it lowers your vibration. So just be mindful because somebody could just literally, because words of spell spells bind. 
So sitting on the phone with somebody and them talking to you in a certain way or saying certain words or using certain talking points, they could be hexing you or, you know, speaking ill on your situation. So just be mindful of that. So what we have that came out is we have stability. So you are very strong and stable at this time. You're definitely very powerful because you are setting your intention. You're utilizing um, your ability to manifest the reality you desire because you realize you're an alchemist. You know, this staff card is literally like the ace of wands. So there are new beginnings that are moving forward for you. I was picking up a sense of like things pushing forward. You're being propelled forward. Um, and I feel like this has a lot to do with you. You know, it has a lot to do with the work that you've put forth. Um, because you have been proactive in getting these things moving. So there's really, you know, you're feeling stronger and stable now. Um, and that number four that the 67, 32, and 13 reduce to, um, that all reduces to four because it reduces to 13. That transformation that you've gone through is what's led to you now feeling more stable, for you now having the stability, for you feeling more sturdy, more secure, just more confident in yourself, self-sufficient. So this is very beautiful because this is what led, you know, your transformation is what's led to this, you know, new level of stability, new level, newfound level of um, even strength. And so who or what you're attracting to you is the next card we're about to clarify. And we still have spring on the bottom of the deck. So this is that person ready to spring into action. They could be watching just to make sure. Um, like the coast is clear. <laughs> That's why I was picking up like spirit saying, you know, show compassion, don't judge, you know, just kind of use discernment, use your intuition, you know, when you see change behavior, then you know, someone is genuinely apologetic for things they may have done or said, or the way they may have treated you or mistreated you for that matter. And that will determine someone's true, you know, like someone's genuine, um, forgiveness. We have um, Domani. It says, I'm not ready. So someone is definitely, uh, <clears throat> every time I speak, uh, you know, about this person's energy, I get choked up. So this person's not ready to communicate because they're still, um, I feel like there's still, you know, some things they're trying to, um, to work through. You know, I'm just getting a sense of them still trying to work on mustering up perhaps the strength to come towards you. So they watch, you know, they're kind of watching and taking notes, trying to learn you a little bit. Why is 96 forgiveness here? Someone could be from Atlanta. I just got a card that was sticking out. So this person is definitely a very dedicated and devoted person. And as I said, someone could be like, you know, praying to their angels, to their ancestors. You know, they could have been really, you know, asking for help, asking for assistance. And I feel like, you know, the more time you dedicate building and nurturing that connection with, you know, your spirit team, the more positive things can, you know, come, you know, the more um, blessings can come through for you. Someone absolutely feels you're very powerful, spiritually strong, wise, very grounded, very psychic. Definitely they feel you're psychic because remember we had that song Cleo and I was getting a sense of like someone that feels you're very psychic. You're a channeler. You're a scryer because Cleo back in the 90s, back in the days, they used to have um, the psychic Cleo and um, Dave Chappelle even did like, a, um, you know, like a little skit on his show about her. Shaba. <laughs> <laughs> it's silly so <laughs> but yeah but this person sees you as very psychic that could be why they're hesitating they're not ready to come towards you you know this is somebody that's not ready because um maybe they're still you know kind of trying to to work on themselves or they're still building themselves spiritually I feel like this person wants you to forgive them because they weren't ready in the past as well. You know, they weren't ready because I was getting run a chaser. So they could have been running from you and you could have been chasing. This could be a vice versa, you know, but that's what I'm getting as well. So someone wasn't ready. You know, if you're not ready and you don't know how to communicate or emote, then you'll probably just go someone or you won't answer the calls or you just disappear. You know, like you don't, 
deal with a situation emotionally intelligent, you're running. You're running from the situation because you don't know how to confront the issue head on, you know. And and and, and no diss to someone that doesn't have those um, those characteristics and attributes. But I feel like that's why this um, the maturation was necessary. Someone had to mat mature. Someone had to grow up. Someone could be from Atlanta, like I said. So with this witch's hat, someone feels like you're definitely, um, you know, very, very, uh, very much their wish fulfillment. You're also getting your wishes fulfilled. You're, you're very, um, I'm hearing lucky, but it's, 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 it's not luck. It's, it's favor. You know, you, you're favored. Spirit is favoring you. And I, like I said, I, I strongly because of your work what you've done, how you've showed up in the world, your evolution. You've had to do the work to get to this point. You've had to learn to love yourself because there was a time where you didn't effectively love yourself or you didn't truly love yourself. You don't realize you're not loving yourself until someone mistreats you and you go through that soul journey, you know, alone having to heal all of those wounds that were kind of ripped open by, you know, outside entities, you know. So when you're on that soul journey, you really truly realize, dang, I wasn't really loving myself. I wasn't treating myself well. You know, you realize that in that moment, you know, and that's what really truly helps you to start healing, you know, truly start confronting the issues which led to, you know, the death and transformation to begin with. So with this witch's, wet, uh, witch's hat, trust your intuition. Um, but also this person sees you as a very powerful, powerful being. So why is this 85 follow your dreams here? And we have the fulfillment card, that chalice. It goes that ace of cups. And this is what's going to be hidden. This is what's on the bottom of the deck when we pull what's hidden in the energy. And so what flew out is the book of shadows secret. So I do feel you have a secret admirer. I do feel like this is someone that does feel you are like their wish fulfillment. This is someone that could be manifesting you or they could, this could be something you're manifesting. They could see you as someone who's, you know, like that alchemist or someone that's a sorcerer that you speak what you desire into the universe and you somehow get it. Because I was initially hearing the word luck and the spirit can corrected me and said no favor, you know, but I do feel like this is someone that secretly watches you. This is someone that sees your power. They see your worth. They see your value. They see you as like, you know, someone who's very spiritually strong, very, very, um, you have a healing, um, quality, ability, very nurturing, very informed as well. This is someone that may have, um, you've been perhaps like some of this person's entries in their personal liveries you know and they, they, you, they've like written a lot of very um intimate thoughts about you in their liveries i don't like the word diary so i'm saying livery for those of you who are like what's a livery <laughs> i just you know i switch up words because i don't really like the way certain words resonate you know, so I do make my own vocabulary from time to time, beloved. But yes, yeah, so this is someone that is definitely a secret admirer because we knew that because we kept seeing someone kind of watching you from a distance. And we have 10 beats, 10 minutes, um, soul messiah, and this is um, black thought. So this is that person that does think about you a lot. You live in this person's mind. And when you think of 10 and 10, that's 20. So this is someone that does want justice, you know, they want not justice, but they, they, you know, yeah, justice. They want justice in this because they're having that wake up call. The judgment card is, you know, the number 20. So they are having like a wake up call. They are seeing you for the first time, you know, and that 20 is again, someone now stuck at like, you know, that, that very pivotal moment where they have to make a decision. And remember, we just had Domani, this person's not really ready. So they're trying to get ready, you know, they, they're trying to get ready to come towards you because they, they, you know, they want to come in correct, you know, they want to take their time, they get it right. 
to someone that has a lot of love. And I feel like this chalice is coming because you've learned to love yourself. But the communication is coming. You may be picking up on it, like I said, intuitively because you are very psychic. But with that soul messiah that's also here, this is that soul mate. This is that person that feels like you're the one that got away. That six is dealing with the lovers. That could be like a past life love, as we said, someone from your past. And they're coming in to offer you this cup, this love. So why is this 33 communication here? This is someone that, you you know, you kind of, you know, running marathons in this person's mind for real, for real. See, there's something's manifesting. So this is what's on the bottom of the deck for the outcome. Someone could be at a distance. The train is going by. This person, I feel, can't contain themselves anymore. They keep saying, I'm not ready, but it's almost like, you know, these emotions, these these... This passion that they're feeling is kind of boiling over. It's imploding, you know, and they're ready to explode, you know. It's like an eruption that's taking place. So they're going to have to at some point just, you know, send the text, dial the number, knock on the door, shoot the email, DM, whatever the, the point of contact they have for you. It's like they're going to have to eventually do it. It may come in the form of an actual letter. You know, I just get a sense of someone actually like writing a letter and eat and actually mailing it like, you know, old school style. Maybe someone doesn't have your actual phone number. Uh, maybe they've lost your contact and maybe they've been able to do some sort of checks to find your 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 um, your address or something to that degree. But this person no longer can contain themselves. And I do see these orbs of light. So I am feeling, especially because it's clarifying this number three here, thir uh, 33 rather, that this person is like mustering up the strength and the courage. The three deals with the solar plexus, you know, so they are trying to, you know, um, assert themselves to come towards you. They're trying to get out of their own head because they can be overthinking because we do have black thought still rhyming. And so they could be like ruminating, pining, overthinking, you know, creating like, you know, like I said, like a... Um, you know, this mental conflict, because remember earlier I was picking up like the eight of swords, someone who's just mentally conflicted, you know, like self-imposed mental anguish. So the outcome, we have the spell manifestation, something you've been manifesting is coming into fruition, beloveds. And it's because you realized your power. I feel like a lot of you realize that you are absolute alchemists, that you are the Magi nations, that your visualization, what you speak into the universe, into the ethers, how you think, how you act, how you, what you do, it, it creates and shapes your reality. And now you are leading, you know, with intention, with conviction. This is a beautiful energy. And your angels have guided you on this path. As I said, you're chosen. You know, I definitely get a sense of you, like you being chosen, you being favored. Some of you could be finding black feathers. I was just showing my daughter and my um, son all of the feathers that I've found in the past um, three years. The bag that they are in, it is so heavy, the weight of it. And if you think of how light a feather is and the bag actually has weight, it's, it's amazing. So some of y'all could still, you know, be finding some feathers. This is communication from your guides and your spirit team. Let's get a message um, for the outcome. Why is the five change, 11 individuality, 66 healing, and 81 leadership here? That 81 leadership is just showing me hermit. Like every, you know, every great healer knows that they have to first heal themselves. You know, especially with the 66 here, right next to this 81. But we also know that the hermit is a wizard and he goes within to search out, seek out the answers. And I feel that's why I was picking up the sense of you being very um, disciplined in removing yourself from situations that could potentially distract you off your path. And that's what true leaderships, um, leadership skills are. It's when you know how to not get distracted you know how to not overcompensate or over you know self-sabotage you know giving too much of your time and your energy because everyone doesn't deserve that beloved you can't be cap and save everybody and then 
you drowning, you know? So it's like, you have to be very intentional with even the people you allow in your space. It has to be a reciprocal type of energy. You can't get in a car and not gas it up and expect to drive to freaking, you know, to the other side of town. <clears throat> My throat is blocked. <clears throat> so perhaps this is a lesson that person may have felt, or maybe this is something you may have had to learn. But this is like, this is what spirit is saying. You can't squeeze blood from a turnip. You can't give if you have nothing to give. So it's like, it's, there has to be this ownership, this onus that you have to make. And it's really just about knowing your own worth. That's what it boils down to. You know, a leader is going to lead by example. And that's what spirit is saying. The outcome is you're a leader. You're ready to lead now. You're ready to be that great awakener, that great healer, that great shaman that you were destined to be, that you were born to be, that you have been, you know, <clears throat> that you've been um, training and preparing to be. Because that five is the hierophant. That's about, you know, teaching and learning as well. So you've been sitting at the master teacher's feet, you know, at the foot of the master teachers, at the feet of the master teachers, rather. You've been going to your elders. You've been, you know, really inquiring, inquiring minds, true inquiring mind wants to know so that they can apply what that, that elder has done to be successful. So it's, it's just, it's beautiful. What you have on the bottom of the deck is union. What did I say about you coming into some dope partnerships, unions, connections? My throat is yet again, <clears throat> excuse me. Someone is all blocked up, but what's crazy is it, it's clearing. I get a sense of someone's blockages are finally clearing. And it's because they're seeing clearly now, perhaps how, how they played a part in something, how not making the effort in the past or how running away or how not communicating effectively, you know, um, could have sabotaged a situation. The card that actually flew out is we have clearance. See that? Clearing out <clears throat> what no longer serves you, getting rid of the people, places, and things. That's what a boss does. If it doesn't work, okay, we got to, you know, get back to the drawing board and figure out a solution, you know, find a resolve. But what you do is you clear out all of the old ish in your life, all the old people, like I said, to make room for this, all of the new. And this is marriage. These people are jumping over a broom. That's actual, you know, African tradition to jump over the broom. The same broom that's here that's helping you to clear out the nonsense. So someone is getting rid of some old flame, some old, you know, just kind of getting rid of bad habits, behaviors. And we have Kendrick Lamar. Someone's name could be Kendrick or Lamar, first, middle, or last. And we have Silent Hill. So this is that person that was silent. This is that person that had some difficulties expressing themselves because I've been choking through the whole damn reading. Someone was in a dark place. There was definitely someone in a dark place. I'm also getting a sense that someone could have also um, had someone doing like voodoo juju hoodoo on them. Someone was trying to do like binding spells, domination spells, doing things to keep someone stuck and stagnant even or to block certain opportunities from coming so let's get some messages i'm gonna get some messages from i'm gonna get some messages from um tarot now and we're gonna get some messages from the deck it's actually miss cleo's deck that's the funny thing being that she was uh referenced in the reading we're gonna use the deck her deck so we have on the bottom of the deck look at that nine of pentacles it's the overall energy we're about to pull. And you see how you got that bird there, you know, so there's some good news coming in. And we know you have good news coming in because you are feeling very stable. Things are stabilized. You're feeling very secure financially, you know, very independent, self-sufficient. That's why you also had this individuality card. You had to learn to go out there and get it on your own. Couldn't depend or rely on other people whether that was by decision or whether that was just by the reality of people not showing up for you in the way you were showing up for them. But I see now that you got it together, beloveds. You are standing on your square. 
You have had major transformations and changes. I see that many of you are going to be, you know, really successful in business. I see that things are really flourishing for you. I just see things flourishing. I see new partnerships. I see you building new alliances. I see that things are taking off financially and you feel very stable. And I feel you have some messages like people are definitely, you know, going to be congratulating you. Some, some excellent news is coming in and you're getting congratulated. I see the Queen of Cups here with the Nine of Coins. And both of these um, cards are depicted by birds coming and uh, kind of perching on up on the hands of these two people. So I feel like you have messages coming in. You know, a lot of good news is coming in. And both of them look like they're smiling. Like they just look like they are in a state of bliss and peace and joy. I feel you have messages coming in from love. Um, you know, some potential love options. You're obviously, you know, very stable. You see all the gold, you know, all of the material wealth that you are experiencing. And then you also have the nine of coins so that you're financially stable, you're emotionally stable and content. As I said, you can't give to anyone, you know, unless you are um, feeling fulfilled. And I just feel like, you know, that's another reason why in the former reading, Spirit was saying, make room. You know, make room because something beautiful is coming in. And whomever or whatever is coming in, this is someone uh, that's definitely going to match your fly. This is someone that's also kind of made in your image. This is someone you can definitely grow with. And it may have required a lot of patience, maybe even just, you know, you getting to a place of feeling um, very financially stable. It required patience. You had to put in a lot of hours. You had to put in a lot of work to get to this place where you're now financially free or where you feel um, stable, you know, but this is beautiful because, you know, good things take time to create. Spirit is always, you know, if, you know, a thousand steps ahead of us, we think we know what we want, but spirit could see things that we can't see, which is why some of the things you think you want, you don't get because it wasn't meant for you, especially if you're very specific in your prayers and your petitions and what you're asking for, if it doesn't line, align with what you've been asking for, if that thing that you're hoping to get doesn't align with it, spirit's not going to, oh, that's, it's, it's not going to bring it in. And so it's just like, we, we just got to realize that and, and, and respect spirit enough to just surrender, you know, and let them lead, you know, lead us, guide us. But the card that flew out is we have the magician. So what did I say about that staff? The staff is an instrument used for manifestation. This is an instrument that you use as above, so below, as within, so without. So you have absolutely manifested, you know, the successes that are coming for you, the blessings that are coming for you. I also feel like, you know, someone could also be, you know, responsible for manifesting you into their life. Someone could be trying to call you back into their life. This is that person that you're not communicating with. And I feel like you already know someone's perhaps coming. You see how this cat, this purple cat, and purple deals with the crown. So this is like your intuitive. And remember, we had that, that witch power card. And this is how someone sees you as someone that is very psychic. Remember, we had that Cleo song, um, Go Baby. So they do see you as someone who's an alchemist or someone who's very intuitive. And I also spoke to the infinity symbol, which we see here so your blessings you know infinite supply blossoming abundance those things are coming in you know someone is absolutely realizing that you are um a very powerful powerful person perhaps things you've spoken of in the past they now see you you know see those things materializing manifesting in real time and we have tony 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 just me and you playing someone could be from california someone's name could be tony and we're about to pull a card for who or what you're attracting to you. So this is someone that, you know, may have um, definitely caused this tower moment, which is why they were, you know, hoping for you to, you know, really hoping for you to forgive them. You know, they caused the tower. There was a sudden ending, a death, you know, and this was painful. It wasn't the easiest thing for you to get over or to overcome or to persevere from, but you did. And that's why they see you as very strong. But this tower means that things were revealed, secrets were revealed. There was a lot that you may not have knew or known. And with just me and you, 
this person now realizes that they felt more peace or happier when it was just you and them. Maybe they got caught up and trapped in something, but they think a lot about just you and them. This person has taken their concerns, you know, to the, you know, to the ancestors. They're asking for assistance. They're asking for support, guidance. This tower 16 reduces to seven. So this is what caused, you know, kind of like that delay, that blockage. This is, this person had to really muster up the strength because the seven is also the chariot. This is what, you know, why there was this, this sense of stagnancy that I was picking up. And this is why this person is also saying, you know, they're not ready because maybe they're still mustering up the strength and courage to approach you because something could have transpired in the past. Why is 96 forgiveness? And there is distance because the train is going by yet again. So why is 96 forgiveness alter dedication here? I do feel this person is wanting um, to come in because one of the main, um, remember we saw that chalice card on the bottom of the deck and that's one of the instruments that you could, um, you know, one of the uh, elements. Or what do, what do you say? I guess one of the, um, yeah, one of the instruments that's there on the table. So this is that person trying to manifest love with you or manifest you back. I do feel they're very attracted to you. They find you very beautiful, very handsome, very wise, very informed, very knowledgeable, you know? Yep. They see you living your best life, stable, independent. You're flourishing. Business is booming. They could definitely see themselves like nurturing and cultivating and building um, a family or planting seeds and roots or... They just see you as regal, royal, very, very, you know, just very, um, very much that diamond rough energy I was picking up. But just as someone who's reached a level of self-mastery, why is 96 forgiveness and dedication? So we have the chariot. I spoke to the chariot. Here it is. So this person is definitely looking back. They learn, they've learned something. They see, they're looking right at you. That's crazy. And what did I say? I can't make this ish up. I swear to God. So we got the chariot on the bottom of the deck, the knight of swords and the two of cups. So what did I say? This person wants forgiveness because I was picking up someone could have just, you know, been very brash or harsh in their delivery, communicating with you. They want to apologize. You know, this is someone that was just like, maybe you felt attacked by this person, judged. But this is what they truly feel. You're attracting two of cups. The two of cups is speaking to someone wanting to give to you equally. This is someone that definitely is really praying and, and trying to manifest this back. And I feel this person is strongly, I mean, slowly but surely getting stronger. They do feel you're the yin to their yang. Because if you think of the chariot in traditional tarot, there are two horses, a white and a black. And the chariot is really about balance. It's about determination. It's about assertiveness. So this person is really trying to muster up the strength and the courage and trying to assert themselves to come toward you to perhaps ask for your forgiveness. With just me and you, I do feel this person really thinks a lot, wonders a lot, daydreams a lot about just you and them or times where it was just you and them spending time together, sitting on the phone together, whatever the thing, you know, that the two of you may have done. This is what they daydream about a lot. You know, you run miles, like I said, in this person's mind. Why is 85 follow your dreams book of shadow secret here? So how this person, our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power and protection spirit. Why is 85 Follow Your Dreams, Book of Shadow Secret, here for how this person, our beloved Scorpios. I thought it was going to fall. It didn't. Let's continue to shuffle. All right. We got our messages. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck. King of Swords. They're ready to talk. I feel like now, you know, they went from the Knight of Swords, who was just like, you know, kind of like just blurting out anything, diarrhea of the mouth, to now it's like they've matured and they've grown. So now they can have a very intelligent conversation, honest conversation. I feel they're ready, you know, and this is someone manifesting you because he's holding a wand in his hand as well as the sword. Um, so they are, you know, trying to manifest this, this connection. So how they feel about you is the page of coins. They want to make a very solid offer, tangible offer, real offer. We also have the hermit. They know that you've been like really working on yourself at a soul level. I mentioned that hermit. So this is like, you know, being, you know, taking that necessary time to really reflect, to really do your work and not allow outside noises or distractions um, to keep you from doing that. 
So what you don't realize is there's someone that's hidden, you know, that's ready to come towards you, you know, while you've been taking the time to, to work on yourself and nurture yourself. Um, I feel this person has been trying to uh, plan, prepare, strategize how to come towards you. You also have the Eight of Cups, so they do feel like you walked away. And, and walking away is very empowering, especially when you feel like emotionally bankrupt or someone's not, you know, putting in what you're putting in. So you walk away because you feel unfulfilled and you go to that Nine of Cups energy where that De La Soul vibration of loving me, myself, and I, it's like that's when you start to really, um, really start uh, prioritizing you and putting you first. So this person is doing a whole lot of reflecting on the past. And we have the fool. What did I say about someone wanting another shot? Wanting to rekindle. This person wants definitely, you know, to um, reconcile or have some sort of new beginning. This person has been working hard on filling their own cup. You see how the cup is spilling? So they really feel like a fool for letting you go. And if you look here closely with the Eight of Cups, even though you walked away, this person does watch you because you can see the eye of Heru just watching and remember um, not only is this person that's admiring you watching you, but you also have some haters watching you. So just be mindful of that as well. But this King of Swords is on the bottom of the deck and we're clarifying the communication along with the containment card. So the King of Swords, the sword is upright, which means someone is ready and prepared, you know, even feeling more confident to communicate. You know, maybe this is person, this person was trying to contain their feelings and now it's growing out of control or their emotions and feelings are imploding or exploding and they can no longer contain it. But their passion, their fire, their desire for you is also becoming uncontrollable. I feel if there was confusion in the past, you could see the clouds dissipating and parting and now they're ready and prepared to express a truth. We have less Nubians. This is called Makita. Someone can be from Paris. You know, someone could be French. Someone could be from African um, descent and speak French. Someone's name could be Makita. Someone definitely sees you as a queen, a goddess, a Nubian. You know, a Nubian prince, a Nubian queen. And this is the epiphany or aha moment that they've had. Someone's very passionate about you. They're watching you. He's kind of just watching. You see, he's leaning in. So someone's definitely leaning in you know, like they're watching so why is this communication and the, the thing about the knight of wands is they go after what they want and you can see he's literally about to leave his seat and we have this chariot so there's definitely action some good news coming in also i just feel like there's a yes answer that's coming in the card that flew out world i was picking up someone being at a distance so you could be definitely receiving some sort of message from someone with the six and the three here um so this is three 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 so your ascended masters are absolutely um, supporting you and conspiring in your favor. You know, they're helping you. They're behind the scenes. There's a lot of assistance here because, you know, there's been some some leveling up. You know, someone absolutely has graduated to the next level. And that could be another thing that makes your your energy, your 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 um, so attractive or you're, you're just infectious. And so this person is really, you know, having this epiphany of, you know, who they let slip away and they're ready and prepared to come after you. You know, they're feeling confident themselves. They've been working on their confidence level. They've been working on asserting themselves. You know, they've been growing wiser. And they see you now as a Nubian prince or, you know, they see you as a, just a prince or a princess, a queen or a king, you know, an emperor, empress. Reach the level of self-mastery. You now have a deeper, more profound, you know, understanding of yourself or the world. They even have obtained, you know, a deeper understanding of you. Maybe that was a part of their own hangups is, you know, they, they didn't fully even understand themselves. So they couldn't understand or overstand or omnistand you in the relationship. You know, so why is this uh, five change, 11 individuality, six he 66 healing, 81 leadership and clearance broomstick here for the outcome? Give me a message of peace, power and protection for my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is this five change, 11 individuality, 66 healing, 81 leadership and clearance here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace. 
power and protection. Thank you, spirit. So I see a card sticking out, but I also want one to fall. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you. And the bottom of the deck, we got the six of coins. So this is um, absolutely generous offers coming in. This is someone giving, you know, half of what they have to you. So this is equal give and take. This is that same energy of the two of cups. I love it. You know, of that equal give and take. Two people who have their own cup, you know, and they're willing to extend it to the other party. So what we have here is we have the three of cups. So this is rejoice and celebrations. This could be someone from your past coming in. I feel like you got good news that's coming in. I feel you're going to be very happy, very excited. I feel like there is a period where you were definitely backstabbed, betrayed, deceived. And that's what you're healing from. That's why you had that 66 healing. <clears throat> My throat is getting blocked. So this could be either your energy or the person that you're attracting to you. But we also have this emperor energy. And the emperor absolutely, you know, is a very powerful energy. They don't settle. They know their worth. This is that entrepreneurial energy. This is someone that is very powerful. Um, they're master manifestors. They, 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 they really know how to, um, you know, to be the leaders, um, you know, that we see here, you know, this leadership is really a, what the emperor embodies, you know, truly, um, he rules empires, you know, it requires a sense of intellect, strength, um, wisdom in order to rule an empire and, and sometimes brute force, you know, um, cause that's necessary too sometimes, but this is just, you know, this is the pinnacle of a divine masculine or a divine feminine energy. Someone who's reached a level of self mastery, um, this is a very attractive energy. So my divine masculines, you, you're, you're coming through in this reading. And this is the change that you all have really um, manifested. You know, this is beautiful. So let's get some messages from my deck. It's 144 on the clock. So as I'm speaking of change and you know how I feel about the number nine. So you are one of the 144, the chosen. That's why I feel like many of you have been through what you've been through. <clears throat> but that nine also is the highest number and vibration of change. We do see you've taken the necessary time to go within, to work on your change, your self change or to improve. So let's get some messages from a deck that I created. Um, the card I forgot to show you that was on the bottom of the deck is the divine sends love and light. So that's the energy that was in the bottom of the deck. I just wanted to show you. Um, so the divine is giving you, like I said, that support that you need. What did I say about whatever is isn't growing is dead? There it is. And this is, uh, what came out for the overall energy. So that's why you had to have so many deaths, you know, this, this 13s that we see twice here. Um, and then the, both of those 13s plus the 32, I got three calls during this, this message. So there's going to be people distracting you. You know, and you're going to have to know how to navigate those situations. So with whatever isn't growing is dead. This is about you now making the decision to only be a part of situations that are helping to, you know, helping you to flourish, helping you to grow, helping you to evolve. You know, don't sweat the small things, you know, because what's a small thing to a giant, beloved? So let's tap in. So why is this 96 forgiveness? Alter, um... The Two of Cups, the Five of Swords here. For who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is 96 forgiveness? Altar. Five of Swords. Two of Cups here. For who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them. Thank you, spirit. And we have strength, courage, and wisdom. What did I say about someone mustering up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come towards you because they are seeking your forgiveness? I cannot make this ish up. You also have recept receptivity. So this is someone coming now willing to be receptive, opened, because this could have been someone who was very uh, guarded, very stubborn, very stoic, very egotistical now they want to be open and receptive i feel spirits also reminding you to be receptive to reminding you to be that boss that leader um to be sensitive to other people also we have higher frequency so someone's coming back 
um, on a higher vibration, a higher frequency. They're not coming back in that low vibration. Also speak energy so you know. Um, and how someone feels about you. We already picked up on, you know, different energy. So it says people hate what they can't duplicate. Um, and uh, people hate what they don't understand and fear what they can't conquer. So this is, you know, a quote from a Nas song. So someone hates what they can't, um, they hate what they don't understand. So you were misunderstood or Mr. Understood, which is why there was a lot of judgment or a lack of, of effort being made towards um, the relationship because they simply didn't understand. And I did say that a few moments ago where it's like someone cannot, um, you know, they can't treat you a certain way if they don't have the that, that uh, understanding or awareness of how to to show up for you in a relationship. So if the, if they if they lack the knowledge, how are they going to do it? So this is pretty much saying the same thing. So how someone feels about you is they could have been afraid. You know, they could have been afraid of you. They could have been afraid of what you stood for, your power. So why is this 85 follow your dreams? Um, Book of Shadows, um, Page of Pentacles, Hermit, Eight of Cups, The Fool. Also, remember, I was picking up on a lot of energy. So not only is, um, you know, it could potentially be, you know, someone from the past, but you also have haters that are watching you because you did have that hex card show up and, what flew out is we have mommy daddy issues so there's definitely that sense and that's what i was also picking up is like you know when someone is carrying around baggage um that could also uh be an issue for you know when you're in a relationship you know you carry around that baggage and it can impact your relationship in a negative way um someone is also being very fugazi very fake you know because how someone feels about you is, you know, they may feel like you can see through their fugaziness or their fakeness. You know, you got a happy house, happy spouse. So someone is really like, really like what I call is, is projecting. You got some haters. You got some secret haters because we did pick up on that. And I feel like, you know, this is not, you know, this is not anything that I'm, I'm telling you. I want to get one more message. So whoever these people are, these are people who are riddled with issues and they project because that makes that, that, you know, that's a feel good, you know, solution is to make excuses and to, you know, victimize yourself, you know, real, real spiritual workers, real, real light workers, real healers. We, we do our work. We do our spiritual work. We heal at a soul level. We don't make excuses for ourselves. And we damn sure ain't going to make excuses for nobody else. So whoever these people are, these are people who have a lot of, um, you know, trauma, you know, a lot of trauma and they weren't operating and functioning in their authentic self. So look how this card is literally, it was just sticking and it fell. It was sticking out. So it says oneness. <laughs> See that? This is what they hate about your ass, that you have this sense of oneness, wholeness, balance, that you're in alignment, coming into alignment. Someone feels like you're at peace. I'm hearing like you're at peace. And peace is positive energy activates constant elevation. So the more you show love and you shine your light, the more infectious it becomes, the more magnetic you become. Some of y'all are born under a life path number seven. Someone you could be dealing with could be born in the month of July. And we have Jill Scott singing slowly, surely. We're about to pull the card for what's hidden in the energy. So someone is slowly but surely coming towards you um, to apologize or to communicate or to express something, you know, because remember we had the communication and the cauldron containment and the world card. So this could be someone that is at a distance. So whoever this is, they are taking action. I'm hearing they are taking action because this is the number of the chariot. So this is someone asserting themselves, someone who feels more confident now, someone feels more balanced. And look what I said. It says, forgive me. I know I broke your trust. So someone is coming back to apologize. I can't make this ish up. Someone has been doing their work though. They've changed because the first card we have for the outcome is, you know, five change. So maybe a conversation can change everything, you know, but always use your intuition because this seven is also associated with the crown. So someone is asking for your forgiveness and we know it's the same person, um, you know, that you're attracting because remember we also had the forgiveness card here. So someone is remorseful. 
But remember, you got a couple of folks watching. It's not just one person that's kind of secretly watching you. You got a whole, I feel like you got a group of people watching you. But why is this five change, 11 individuality, 66 healing? That card just flew out of my hand and then we got another one. So, oh, it just fell on the floor. So it says enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. So that's what you did. You bolted up out of here. That's why we saw that eight of cups because you chose you. And then we have not with the shits. This is the outcome. You're not playing games with anybody, you know. And this is like, you know, you're celebrating in life right now. But you're also attracting someone that's going to bring that balance, you know. Because this happy house, happy spouse, that's like a powerful, beautiful partnership. I'm going to get one more message. I, they gave me three. Okay, thank you, spirit. And what did I tell you earlier? Speak energy. It says, what does their energy speak to your spirit? So this is deeper than just, you know letting somebody's words excite you it's like their actions so we have ritual so invo invocation ritual work so do your ritual work i also feel like that's what you're getting stronger in i also feel like that's what spirit is saying um you know could potentially uh be influencing you know someone someone could you know absolutely have been trying to manipulate another person's energy i also see that you know whatever uh, shifted in a connection with this Ten of Swords, you know, all of the illusions and delusions, because the card illusions, delusions, faulty foundations, remember we saw the Tower card as well, those things fell and that's why you felt deceived but, you know, these Ten Swords reduced to the one which is the Ace of Swords, I mean the Ace of Swords, so that allowed you to cut yourself free from the people, places, and things that were not being honest and you were able to see even the individuals that could have potentially been trying to do Voodoo Juju Hoodoo on you you know, which is why you're now cleaning house, clearing house, getting rid of ish that don't vibrate on your frequency. Spirit's telling you stop, look, listen, because something could be potentially, you know, hidden in plain sight. And they're also saying, what does their energy speak to your spirit? So if someone is returning, talking about, you know, they want to try again, spirit is saying that you really need to um, trust your, your gumption. This could be, you know, an ex. This could be the father to your children. This could be an ex-husband, uh, ex-fiance, ex-boyfriend. Um, this could be even a boss coming back talking about, you know, hey, I was thinking about, you know, asking you if you come back to work for me. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, when you were working with them before, they didn't treat you the way, you know, they didn't know your worth. They didn't treat you like they see you. So someone sees you. Someone finally sees you. Okay, so I see you is like someone saying like they see your spirit. They see your soul. You know, they can see through, you know, everything that you present. And it's, um, this is saying real isn't popular, fake is in the matrix. So always present your authentic self, you know. That's what I was going into earlier about these fake celebrities. And, you know, people worry so much about just being liked and being followed and subscribed. And it's like you got to be mindful of who you're subscribing to, who you're following, who you're listening to. So don't get caught up in, in the illusion of fame and celebrity life. Like really stand on your principles, stand on your square, stand for something, you know, like support people that you see spreading messages that, that are actually awakening others and, and empowering and inspiring others. Don't just follow people because they got a million subscribers and they want you to buy their pocketbook or their, their hairline or their freaking makeup or their shirts that are overpriced. Like, no, it's time to wake up, you know, be edutained. That means education and entertainment has to, it has to combine, you know, we, we it, like things are changing and shifting. Next, it says, I'm falling off my game, messed around and fell in love. So someone definitely has fallen in love with you and have fallen. I like to say now rise in love. So this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. Keep your eyes on the swivel. You already know. And, uh, you know, just know that you got some haters, but you know that Scorpios know that already. I don't even got to tell y'all that you already know, but this is just the confirmation you needed, beloved. I thank y'all for those of you that may be new that tuned in, tapped in for the first time. I hope the messages resonated. If you found that it did, please like the, but, uh, the video, definitely subscribe to the soul tribe. So, you know, whenever I upload, if you're interested in getting a spiritual consultation from me, you can click the link in the description box below and it will take you to my Etsy shop and you can book your consultation there. Um, and yeah, T Meek, please, 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 my love, my sis, my beloved, give me your email so I can send you your reading, beloved. Okay. 
And on that, I'm on that note, y'all, I'm going to sign out. Peace, love, and light, y'all. Have a blessed day. Happy solar return to anyone who's celebrating on the 7th of November, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th. Hey! Happy solar return. Enjoy. Turn up. Turn out. And have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Peace, love, and light.